Three, two, one, action. What's up, family? Awesome that you're watching this video again today with the almighty <laughs> brother, Deron Woodside. That's this guy over here. <laughs> Tell us, man, uh, how was the experience for you here in Amsterdam with us? Man, the, the experience was, was amazing, man. Um, it almost felt like being home, you know, amongst, amongst my brothers from Brooklyn, you know, and in New Jersey, you know what I'm saying? It was, it, it was a wonderful experience. Yeah. Um, you guys treated me with so much love and, and respect and, and hospitality. Thanks so much, man. And tell us, bro, man, you have so many, many friends yeah, from where you're from. Tell us about the brotherhood. Man, our brotherhood is, is, is strong, man. My bro Isaiah Johnson, you know, Sharik Tucker, you know, our older peers, Eddie Haywood, Jared Haywood, um, Jermaine Parrish, um, Lil Junior, a.k.a. Kevin Williams, Josh Kidd, Charles Norris. It, it's a whole bunch of us, man, a whole bunch of us. It's, it's really, we're really like a family of brothers. Um, Colin White, you know what I'm saying, who's, who's J. Cole's drummer. Darius Woodley, mm -hmm. you know, 50 Cent. We're, we're a big family, we're a big family, man. Any, anytime, you know, we get together, it's nothing but fun. Friends over in uh, America, they've, they've been talking about set chains, right? Isaiah Johnson's been here before, Wes Watkins. Mm -hmm. what, do, what do people say about this, uh, this movement out here? Well, believe it or not, I get all the phone calls when it comes to um, share sessions. Uh -huh. They want to know Thank you. what it's about, you know, awesome. they, they ask me yeah, because wow. I'm like one of the first ones to exactly. sign up and yeah. join on board with you guys. Yeah. So whenever they hear about something, they're like, hey, Deron, um, what is this shed session about? And I just let them know what it's about. And yourself, you, know? you are also like very big in that community, organizing sheds and stuff yes, like that. Yes, yes, yes. Myself and um, Alex Frame, mm -hmm. he's the, um, the CEO of uh, the Rhythm Mondays movement. It has to be about eight years now when we started that joint in uh, Flatbush, Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah, because uh, Isaiah was still in high school then. It's <laughs> <laughs> crazy now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we was doing it, I think we was doing it like twice a month on Rogers Avenue. Yeah, we was doing it twice a month. We had kids, um, we had everybody in there. Everybody, when I tell you everybody, everybody who was somebody was there. You know what I'm saying? Was coming through, playing drums, playing keys, bass. Mm -hmm. We did a, uh, a clinic shed with Dwayne Wright. He came through, and uh, my homeboy Layton, who plays bass for Joe, he came through. We had two bass rigs, three drum sets. Wow. Um, we had uh, Cedric Marsh, yeah. who um, plays drums for um, um, Big Sad. Yeah. You know Big Sad? Yeah. He plays drums for um, Patti LaBelle. Wow. We had him come, and he, was, uh, he brought his drums, and it was just a, a host of people that, that laid the foundation for us. We honored um, Reggie Parker. Mm -hmm. who played the bass on a number of um, Hezekiah Walker albums. Yep. Yep. And Jeffy White, who is uh, Corey Henry, Corey Henry's godfather, and um, Jay White and Colin White's father. Wow. So, you know, it, it's been a long road. It's been a long road. Well, of course, you've been playing today for, for, for all of the people that were here. Mm -hmm. Uh, you've been which saying, was awesome. Which was awesome, by the way. Yeah. Of course, you know you already know that. <laughs> <laughs> but I was, we were, we were, of course, talking about the way you uh, you play drums and your approach to mm -hmm. drums. Do you have anything to say to the people watching uh, who, who weren't here today, but would like to know how you? Uh, well, well, basically, um, like I explained earlier, mm -hmm. um, drums is is really about feeling. Um, you know, a model that I live by is, you know, drums is the heartbeat of a song. Yeah. Without the heartbeat, the song would die. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My, my approach to drums basically come from my dad. My father was is very influential in my playing. Um, before I learned how to do all the fancy chops and stuff, he, he gave me foundation, which is, you know, the backbeat. You know what I'm saying? Just keeping that, that pocket, mm -hmm. let, letting them feel the groove until it's your turn to express yourself. You know, my dad showed me a couple of rudiments, and even now, he's very still influential in my playing. Before I came here, he was, you know, giving me daddy talk, daddy son talk. Like, son, do this, do that, do this, that, and the third. Make sure you engage the people, blah, 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 this, and the third. Mm -hmm. So he would have been here, but, you know, under, you know, unfortunate circumstances, he couldn't make it. Oh, man. Maybe next time, brother, thank you so much for 
being here with us. Thank you. We man. love you, man. And we'll see you soon. Also, man. I'm gonna tell everybody out there, you gotta come to Brooklyn. You gotta come to Brooklyn. And you gotta come to the Netherlands. Yes, sir. Get your lessons, Doc. <laughs> These guys are the greatest. You know what I'm saying? This man is. <laughs> Thank you again. Sessions, NL. Tweet.